Steve McMurray is with Jenna Fessmeyer. Steve. Jason, thank you very much. The 2019 Boilermaker Women's Wheelchair winner, Jenna Fessemeyer, straight from Champaign, Illinois. And uh, so your first time here, and you won it. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It was a great day. Um, nobody told me there were hills on the course. What's up with that? <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was a hilly course, a nice headwind, but we had some great competitors out there pushing me along the way. So, good day. Now, you're the first brand new winner in almost a decade. So now the question is, are you going to come back and defend your title? Because now we might have a head-to-head -head race uh, next year. What do you think? After, I know it's early, but what do you think? I would love to come back next year. Yep, and maybe I'll bring a couple of my teammates with me. That, talk a little, now, this is your first time. We take everything, you know, we take everything for granted because we do this race all the time. But for uh, your first impressions, when I mean, other than the hills, which were, you know, crazy. Talk about the fans, everything else. Yeah, you know what? Um, the last two miles, the fans were just electric. I could tell I was approaching the finish line because the crowd was just so wild, and um, that really gives you a good sense of home, a good sense of Utica, so it's very happy. All right, outstanding. Jenna Fessemeyer, your 2019 Women's Wheelchair Champion. Congratulations, so and we hope to see you again next year to defend your title. All right, she already said see you next year, so it's done. Book it. Jason. You said it. We're going to do it. She's in. All right, thanks very much, and congratulations, Jenna. Are we are watching now. Uh, I, We've just changed leaders once again. It was Muhammad Arabi, and now we've switched back to... Your guess is as good as mine. I can't see from this angle. Can we get to Spencer? Not hearing if we can get to Spencer at this point, but we're going to get it close. That's Gabriel Guille. That's number one. So we're going to keep that... But look at this. <laughs> Arabi has now caught back up, so it's a very close race. This is going to go down to the wire between Gabriel Guille, the defending champion, Nate, and Mohamed Arabi from Morocco. Okay, so I'm actually glad that I had that wrong, that he was in the T-shirt, because it would have been a real surprise if Gabriel Guille was not in this race. So it looks like he is now in the lead, holding off um, El Arabi. Oh, and he just made a that kick. That is a very decisive move right there. Boom, it's like he turned on the, the jets all and, of a sudden. And if you're ever in that race, once that happens to you, it is tough to recover because psychologically you take a real hit there. Oh yeah, because he was like within a foot and he was ready to overtake the lead and then all of a sudden, Guille turns on the Jets, and he knows this is the place to do that because he ran here last year. Yeah, the familiarity with the course definitely helps you a lot. It looks All right, we've got to go smooth. real quick. I know this race is coming down to the wire, but we have to go to Gary.